Hey house my friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited, I cannot wait to show you what I just found. I've been going sport hunting more than usual lately and I just found this gem, okay? You ready for this? Are you even ready for this? <laughs> okay, look at this. This is a different Lowe's by the way. So the Lowe's I went to either yesterday or two days ago, depending on when you're seeing this. I did some sport hunting there and I found one that was like lightly variegated, right? But look what I just found. <laughs> wow, and then, <gasps> wow. And then look at this, ready, ready, ready? <gasps> wow, and that's not dirt, dude. That is actual living, breathing variegation and it's getting stronger every leaf, bro. And you can actually see some white streaks on the stem. I don't know if you guys can, but there's a couple really faint white streaks on the stem that you can see the, like right here, like right there. And bro, it's like, it's doing the thing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And it's not like the normal like green sport variegation, right? This almost looks like it's becoming an albo or something. I don't know, kind of yellowy. But bro, oh my gosh, look. <gasps> this is another one. Okay, so this is also on the stem. I didn't even see this leaf before. <gasps> you guys, it's so fun. I'm so excited. I could cry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so the rest of the plant looks normal, I think. I missed that, so like, I could be missing something else, but that one was coming off the same stem. Anyways, I'm at a different Lowe's, so I figured I would um, show you this. Show you the other plants they have here, bro. Look at that. This is all that stem, bro. And this is the first one. I didn't have anything. Oh my gosh. Genetics, bro. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna walk around and show you the other plants, but um, literally, I found one yesterday and I found another one today. If you guys aren't pulling every single Monstera out and checking every single one, when you're sport hunting, you're doing it wrong because I literally just looked like a fool sitting over there at the other cart, pulling every single one out and checking every single leaf. And you look like you're dumb, but trust me, you might just find the sport variegated Monstera. Oh my gosh, bro, what the heck? I just can't. I think I like this leaf the best. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm so excited. Wow. I'm wearing the exact same outfit as I did in the other big box store video but it is a completely different day. I'm even wearing, I'm even wearing the same boots, okay? Okay, I put the monster down and now we are going to take a look at the rest of the plants. We're gonna start over here like we always do. Looks like we have some golden pothos for $14.99. And these plastics look pretty okay. And this looks like a pubic helix. What the heck, what are you? What the, oh my God, you're kidding me. <laughs> You guys, this is a variegated lipstick plant. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, he just lost a leaf. Oh no, we didn't. This guy is not in good shape. I can probably get a pretty solid discount on this. Looks like, it looks like someone fully dropped it actually. Imagine just dropping this and like not even knowing, bro. Look at it. It is so beautiful. How much? This is 24. This one is 14. Good thing we got a Lowe's credit card. Haha, -ha. periodic payments, baby. You guys, you know what's funny is I just left a pop-up shop and I just bought one that was like minorly variegated and this one is like crazy. Oh my God. Variegated houseplant big box store tour. Oh my God, question mark? Okay, well. Looks like we're getting two plants today. I'm scared to just leave these here, so I'm gonna move them with me as we go. So then we have some begonias. This looks like a huge pot of the kind we saw just yesterday. Then we have some maranta. Oh, that is soaking wet. I'm not gonna take that down, sorry. Then we have some peperomia obtusifolia, and they're in these really cute little pots. These guys are 12, all of them. Got a marble pothos, which I haven't seen in Boise for a minute. That's huge. Wow, those two leaves are really nice. Then we have some pretty big palms and some bird of paradise, some chiflera. Then we have some uh, thematophyllum bipenifolium. These are getting really popular this year. Um, I feel like everyone wants one versus like last year. I don't think people really cared about them that much. 
And I think this is uh, Aglionema, just like a big version. It's kind of nice, I actually really like the white edges. Then we have some Dracaena. Oh, and we have massive curly ponytails. Ooh, these are only 34. I might get one. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not, these are too big to be able to check for mealies. At big box stores, these almost always have mealies. But look at her. Look at how curly she is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. This guy is super white. He's like minty. He's like, oh, we lost one. He's like a minty Orba. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I've never seen that. Wow, variegated plant tour. What the heck? I think I might get this. Five dollars. I need a heckin' cart. I don't even like this plant that much, but the variegation on it is so nice. It's like minty, you guys. Do you see that? Wow, it looks like my Florida ghost. Then we just have like the rest of the normal two inch tropicals. Oh, we have some strawberry begonia. That's nice. And a bird. My little variegated plant babies. Okay, I'm going to check out, but let me show you guys one more time what I got. So I'm gonna get this Peperomia orbifolia because it's ridiculous. I mean, look at that. And look at this. And look at this, half moon, what the heck? That is so iconic. Then I'm gonna get this variegated lipstick plant, who is beautiful. Bro. And of course, the queen herself. The baddest girl. Wow, I'm so in love. You guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, here's our little variegated houseplant haul. That is so fun. I'm so glad I came. This Lowe's usually sucks. Like, they never have good plants here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi. I'm in my car. Well, technically I'm in Christopher's car. Long story. <laughs> I figured I'd pop on real fast before the video ends and just give you some more advice on situations and circumstances that might lead to a variegated plant that you might want to get and again i'm sorry this lighting oh look at my eyeball you guys excuse me sorry <laughs> what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tell you my tips and tricks on how to find variegated monstera at big box stores or bbs all right here's the sitch number one you have to be thorough okay it's not enough to just breeze over the plants and kind of look at them from a distance or even get close and just check a few leaves, okay? I look like a fool when I am searching the big box stores for variegated Monstera. The reason is because I sit on the ground because it's gonna take at least half an hour to sometimes an hour and you're gonna be prepared for people to look at you weird, okay? Because you look dumb. You're sitting on the floor checking all of the plants. Someone's probably thinking that you're checking for pests. Like you're a secret inspector, but you're not. I have to check all these plants. And the more plants, the better because the better chance you have at finding one. Today I got some weird looks because when I found the one that I found because it has basically like a white variegation, I went, because ah! I tried to compress it, but I couldn't because all the sports I've ever found, I found two big ones so far and I found one small one. Back when I very first got into plants, I'll show you a photo right here. It was one of the first plants I ever found. It was so fun, but um, I was trying to like compress it because I was so excited because this one doesn't have just green on green variegation. This is like white or some kind of like yellow. I sit on the ground, I get comfortable, I put in some AirPods, maybe listen to a podcast, and I pick up every single Monstera. You have to be careful with them, okay? Because you don't wanna break any. And then you check every single leaf, even the baby leaves at the very bottom, because you never know where that variegation is gonna start. Next best thing you can do is that if you found that someone else has found a variegated Monstera at the place or at a specific Lowe's or Home Depot or Trader Joe's or wherever, go yourself. There are odds that they found that one and then didn't check the rest of them. So there could be another one. 
And how I see it is that if there's one, there has to be at least a couple more. And who knows how the batch was separated, right? When the wholesalers like packed up the plants to ship them off. But how I see it is that if there's one, there's a chance there might be a couple more because of the specific genes of that group of Monstera. So if you see that one has popped up somewhere at a big box store, go and go immediately and wear a mask, okay? It's hard because everyone's like, how do you find them? And I wanna like make an advice video, but basically you just have to go look and it takes time. You have to literally check the back and front of every single leaf to make sure you didn't miss anything. And it works. I found one yesterday and I found one again today. The one yesterday was barely variegated and it was only two leaves and it was barely anything. So I'm hoping it will keep pushing out some more since there's two at least. It's not just one. And also something that's important to know is that not all variegated monsteras will like, or sports, will continue to put out new leaves. Like let's say that you find one and there's just like a tiny little itty bitty baby blob of white on there or like a different green. That doesn't mean that it's gonna keep putting out more variegated growth. It's really, it's all about genetics giving your plant more light is not going to make it more variegated it's all about the genetics of the stem and how it develops so i hope that this made some sense if you have any questions about finding variegated monstera literally at all um, leave them in the comment section down below and i'll do my best to answer um as best as i can but yeah it just takes looking and it takes going pretty often so which i haven't been liking to do i have left my house yesterday and today and i haven't left my house other than that so, I mean, that's a good thing. I shouldn't be looking at that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure that you hit like, subscribe, and tweet me at PlantMeAshley. Follow me on Instagram at PlantMeAshley. And, uh, and yeah. I just realized I didn't even really film a Lowe's intro, but yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll tell you what's in my coffee and then I'll go. I got a decaf um, iced Americano because I found that that's really good and it's not so bitter. And then I got a splash of almond milk put in it and I got hazelnut and peppermint syrup. And it's really good. Okay, bye! Bye!